Hey guys, Lisa Callagy here to share with you a video on Edmentum Exact Paths Standard Mastery Assessments. Okay, let's get started. So first I would like to explain to you what Standards Mastery Assessments are all about. So Standards Mastery is a tool for math and English language arts for grades 3 to 8 that assist educators in building and assessing proficiency on grade level standards. Standards Mastery is a powerful teacher-led complement to the personalized learning in Exact Path. Standard Mastery includes formative, formative assessments that reinforce learning and address on grade level proficiency. It provides real-time data reporting that tracks students' performance against standards and effectively informs instruction. It is efficient and integrated across with a single login for teachers and students through Exact Path and it is a deep repository of items tightly aligned to the state standards and quickly accessible by browsing or searching. All right, let's get started on how we would assign a standards mastery assessment to your students. Okay, so to access the standard mastery, once you land an exact path, you want to navigate to the assess and teach menu option. And from here, you would choose standards mastery. So beneath the Browse Skills and Standards, you have a few options. First is your subject area. And notice that the standards are aligned to the New Jersey Student Learning Standards. So you would either choose Math or English Language Arts. Then you would choose your grade level. You also have a search feature, which enables you to search either by a skill name or even a standard um, number. If, if you know the number and it, even if you partially type in the number you will get a list of results okay now scrolling down here's where you'll see the domains and the skills below and also the standards that relate to that skill if you hover your mouse over the standards notice in the top left hand side of your screen will be the actual standards description so you can look at that from here. Um, and then to assign, simply select the standard that you'd like. And you can select up to three standards to assign to your class or individual students. But I want to show you first how you could view an example of what this standards mastery assessment looks like. So you are aware of the types of questions that are within this assessment. So if you choose one skill and then click on create new assessment, if you scroll down to the bottom of this page, you will see a print button. If you click on print, it's going to open up a print window. But if you cancel that, it also opens up the actual assessment. So you're able to look and see the types of questions. Know that these questions are not going to be the same questions that your students will see. It's random. So within this um, skill, in this standard, in this domain, these are the types of questions. OK? So if you are happy with the question types, Okay, tab back over to the Standards Mastery tab, and now you're able to assign it to your students. You can change the title here. You could choose the start, I'm sorry, the start date, or and choose the end date, and the end date is required. You can obviously choose a start date in the future. Choose the class that you would like to assign it, or the class that, where the students are that you'd like to assign and then select either all of your students or individual students by clicking on the checkbox to the right of their names. Scrolling down. Clicking on Enforce States will mean that as soon as the end date is reached, the next day this, this assessment will not appear for your students. Okay. Once you're finished, your students will log in. Once they log into Exact path, they will see a 
tile that has the title of the assessment and they would just click on that tile and take the test. When the test is finished and you'd like to see the student results, you could click on reports. I'm sorry, you could click on the either math or reading, it doesn't matter. Choose either learning paths or diagnostics, still doesn't matter, but what you're looking for is your students' names. So clicking on any individual student, at the top you'll see a link for Standards Mastery, and this is going to show you for the topic that you chose, it will show the score for the standard mas mas standards mastery assessment that the students took. Okay? So this has been a video on the standards mastery assessments, how to assign them, how to view them, and how to see the results of the standards mastery assessment that you assigned your students. Okay, I hope this helps everybody. Have a great day.